Welcome to a paradise of cottage life. Fishing. Cast your lures. Wiggle things in the water until sometimes fish decide to bite. Most of the time they won't, and you'll just keep wiggling and wiggling. And then the bite and chaos will ensue, right into their mouth, and you'll yank them from the water, pulling them from the safety of the lake into your evil clutches. Sega Bass Fishing, only on the Dreamcast. <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and Happy New Year to all you fine folk out there. We are going to be lounging our way through a game called Sega Bass Fishing today, and here you can see how to play. I've got this handy dandy fishing reel controller, as you can see right here, spinning it around to my heart's content. There's a little bit of a, an analog stick here and a couple of buttons. This is a unique controller that was released by Sega. Uh, because I knew this game would be hit, and oddly enough, it actually was a hit. It's, it's remarkable how a game like this actually did really well. It seems so, like, esoteric and weird. But whatever, we're not here to judge today, guys. Um, I mean, I mean, I guess it is weird, you know, while we're watching, you know, how to play for a second here. It is weird like, that a game like this ended up in the Thousand One Games and was played before you die book. I think it's purely due to uniqueness, guys. Like, remember... We've kind of figured out that this book is not necessarily the 1001 best games I've ever made. This is a journey that's about experiences. And the book itself, the book actually has a really weird review for this game. It literally in the review says that fishing is boring and pointless. Their words, not mine. And uh, it says that this game is more interesting than that. Um, although it is still a little boring, they say, perhaps, but I, it's weird. I don't know. Let's give this one a fair shot, though, because I'm really curious to see. I've never used a fishing controller in my life, and I don't even really fish, so I'm excited to see how this goes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and press start here and get going. So Sega Bass Fishing here was released on the Dreamcast, and it was one of the earliest games released on the Dreamcast. We're going to go right into arcade mode here. The arcade mode of fishing. And shockingly enough, it did Welcome well enough Paradise, that so it ended up becoming um, a Sega All-Stars title, which is sort of like the PlayStation Collections or the Xbox Platinum Hits kind of thing. Let's just go for Lodge, I guess. We're going to be fishing at the Lodge tonight, Long honey. Area. Don't wait up. This game apparently showed off, like, impressive graphics on the Dreamcast for a time. I mean, it's fish. It's just fish, but, I mean, I guess it was impressive at the time. So let's let's sort of rewind back to, like, 1998 and imagine that so we're at home and we're like, whoa, it's like the arcades, but, uh, but at home now. Difficult. Move rod to make lure shake. Normal. Real constantly. Oh, so these are the different lures. So fishing is a very strategic game, if you did not know. I see there's two, a couple of fish there. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's see if we can do this. So we go like that. Oh, I can actually cast with the controller. That's totally awesome. All right, now I guess you reel. Oh, we got a fish already. Oh, fish, fish. Oh, things are getting extreme. Hit, hit bonus. Oh, oh, don't break the reel. Don't break the reel. No, fish. Go, go back to me. Oh, this is so intense. Turn the rod left. D does it actually detect which way? Oh, he's like swimming across the, the, the wait. Oh, God. I, I can't even comment fast enough. Line tension. I guess you can like break the line if you try and reel him in too fast. Does it actually detect how I'm holding? No, oh, no, no, don't break the line, don't break the line. Come here, you stupid fish. Come. To, turn the rod to the right. I'm trying, I'm using the analog stick and, and moving the rod. I don't know if this is a motion controlled rod or not, but we got a fish, oh, it was an average sized fish. Cha-ching, we did it guys, we're the heroes of fishing town. Wow, that was like way more intense than I thought. There was like intense menus and music. Okay, there's a couple more fish hanging around down there. So you can also press the A button like this if you want to cast. You don't actually have to like move move your wrist. But I mean, what's the fun in that? So if you bought this controller, presumably you'd want to like actually uh, sort of, you know. Oh, there we go, we got him, we got him, we got him. Yeah, fish, you're mine now, buddy. You ain't going nowhere. I I'm kind of tempted to like break the line just to like see what happens, but. Like, like in it, in real life fishing, you only have 40 seconds to like get a fish once you've hooked it. It's not like you have a log here. Oh, we got that one so much easier. It's not like you, you when you go fishing, you go sit in a boat all day, just wait for something interesting oh, to happen. 
Oh yeah, cha ching! We got a big Ranking. one, guys. We are ranking in, time bonus. and we got a time bonus. What does that mean? Was I was there a possibility of not ranking? Well, I don't know. Let's see what's. Whoops! I did not mean to cast there. I don't even know if there's fit any fish. There's a log. I wonder what the coolest thing you can see under the lake in this game is. See like a boot or something. Or can you like accidentally find a corpse? Like just you know. Oh, there's like a turtle. That's pretty cool. Turtle floating around. All right. So we've seen what it's like to fish. My goal now is to just see interesting things under the water. Maybe try and catch like a giant fish. Like uh, the old admiral, the, the fish that all the fishermen around here tell legends of. Oh, there's like ducks. See, there's like ducks right near me. You can, they're the, like the bottom of the screen. I've like lost interest in fishing already. Okay, there we go. We'll pretend to cast. What, that's it? Oh, okay. So I thought we passed it though. Hold on. Okay, we're going to let this go. We're gonna try a, a different venue because I feel like I wasn't feeling it at the lodge here. Also, I, I, it was weird that I cast it towards the shore. I thought you went out in a boat and cast it out into the water. If I just wanted to cast on the shore, why don't I just stand on the dock? It didn't make a lot of sense. The biggest bass you've caught, rookie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take it. I'm a rookie, I guess. So uh, yeah, this was an early Dreamcast game. Oddly enough, sold well Please enough to be a games. Dreamcast all-star hit which is a little a little remarkable i don't know i maybe it's just me but i always feel like uh like fishing or hunting games are kind of like they're like a different genre of video games like i know there's some people out there who like them but i wouldn't they're like games for non-gamers you know like cabela's big game hunter or like the fishing games because it's like i don't imagine a lot of guys who enjoy those kinds of games are out playing like hearthstone or like you know, really, you know, getting into like, uh, I don't know, like what, what's another like nerdy, like a gamer's game, like Civilization or something like that. It just sort of feels like if you're interested in Cabela's game Big Game Hunter, over. you know, you're, you're of a different genre of gamer than the type of gamer who gets into the really like nerdy games. I don't know. Not to say that, you know, you, you, this game shouldn't exist. I'm, I'm happy it exists. You know, I'm happy that there are different games that cater to different interests in the world, guys. Everyone deserves to have something that they enjoy out there. So, okay, let's go ahead and give this another shot here. Um, this game is available these days on PS3 and Xbox 360 and Windows, but also the Wii. I feel like if you were going to... Let's see what the original mode is like. If you were going to play this game, I feel like you should definitely play the Wii. Because it came with a special... Or it didn't come with you had to buy this separately. But there's a special motion-controlled fishing reel. You can't get that on the Xbox 360. Okay, we have a very buffed-out female... Or a really jacked dude. Man, I did not know that fisher fishermen were in such... Like, look at her arms. My god, they're like beefier than mine. This woman did not know you had to be in such good shape to fish. Let's be, let's be the, the, the girl. I'm interested to see what her fishing style is Please like. Enter your name. Her name is Jaina. I wonder if they'll give us enough letters. Uh, oh, I should have... I missed the A, didn't I? J... Jaina. Wait, why? Why is it like J period Aina? Okay, I guess Aina is her last name and her first name is the letter J. I don't know. It's, I did not do that intentionally. Whatever. It's Jaina. Jaina the fishing queen. She's going out to catch some fish. Personal data. Rules. Oh, we're in some kind of like high stakes fishing tournament for some reason. And I did not know this thing existed. I thought... I thought fishing was like a thing that people just sort of did. They would like go out into the water and, you know, drink a lot and hopefully get a fish. But I feel like fishing is one of those things that people who fish sometimes don't even care if they get a fish. They're just there to have fun. This tournament consists of five stages. All oh, God, look at all that description. Thank God it auto skipped. All right. So we're in Lake Paradise. Weather is cloud and I did not catch the temperature. Is that relevant? I don't know. But uh, I feel like fishing is one of those things that, like, fishing is a sport that actually, Boy. when I think about it, it seems like I might actually like it. Because it so is kind of, like, strategic and stuff. Um, it just feels Boy, like it has, like, point. really long load times. You know what I mean? Like, real-life load times. Like, you, you cast your lure, and in this game, within, like, five seconds, you've got a fish. But in real life, it could be hours. But then once you do get a fish, there's all this strategy of like how quickly do you pull it in and what bait were you using and how fast, like can we get this fish's attention? Like that big guy was like totally like not interested in us. Come on, fish, we got a fish here. 
Um, but if it was not for the like insanely long periods of sitting and doing nothing, I feel like fishing might actually be something that that I uh, that I might kind of like. Uh, I'm just I'm losing track of my thoughts as I'm like fishing, reeling this fishing. Oh, that was so much easier. Good. Oh, a small one. All right. Well, we'll keep going. We'll get a bigger one. There's a big guy in there. I'm just using the butt. I'm getting lazy. Um, yeah, like fishing is long, low times. And so it's like, I, I'm not surprised that people drink when they fish. They just go out to fish and they're like, you know what? I'm just get, gonna get blasted. Cause like, come on buddy. This is really tasty. You'll want it. You'll want it. He's like, nah, he's not falling for it. He's like, I've seen that before. Okay, but let's change our lure. I think you can do that with the Y button. Um, but yeah, I'm not surprised that people drink when they fish. Um, it also, you know, like not only is fishing like has long load times, you know, to use the gaming vernacular, but the other thing about fishing, let's try this one, is it's kind of like nature's loot box. And I feel like that's kind of like the one of the appeals of fishing. It's like you throw your thing into the water and you make it do its thing and you never know what you're going to catch. It's just like a big old mystery. It's like literally nature's loot box. Could be, could be something fun, could be something crappy. Okay, we got absolutely nothing this time around. Oh man, we're doing terrible, man. We're never gonna pass this fishing competition. Okay, just reel it in. Just can we re reel it in. Oh, there's a fish! Oh wait, it's gone. Oh, he's not interested. Oh my god. Okay, we got it. that lure sucked. What else do we got? Let's go with uh, the pencil bait. Let's go with vibration. All right, let's do this. We got to do like the real casting of our of our uh, little uh, lure here. Just pressing the button is the fool's way of doing it. Where are all the fish? Did I catch them in the... Did, my, did the dude come through here and catch them all? Oh, there's a big guy. Come on, buddy. You know, you want this? Damn it. He's, like, not interested. Oh, this is just, like, real fish. Oh, look, there's a fish right there. I think my, my bait even, like, hit him in the face. They're, like, so disinterested. Oh, he's getting interested. He's getting... It, oh, he's, he's just disinterested. Oh my god. Okay, we need sexier uh, bait, guys. We need, like, the sexiest fish bait we can come up with. Floating minnow. A deep crank. I like floating minnow. Let's, let's give this one a shot. Okay, and forget about there. Let's go over here. That, it's a, it's a fool's errand to be on the right side of the docks over there. There's got to be some. Where's that turtle? I will take a turtle at this point. I'm not. I'm. I'm severely not getting picky. <laughs> Anything? Anyone? Oh God. Okay. This game. I guess arcade mode is where you actually get to catch fish. This is actually what fishing is like now. Um. I should crack open. Let, let's all crack open a beer. I feel like that. Then it would be. Then the fishing simulation should be would be complete. This game should come with a fishing rod controller and like a six pack of Budweiser. And like, it's like, welcome to fishing, buddy. And like headphones, so like you don't have to listen to anyone else who's like hanging around the house. Just be isolated, drinking, doing this for long periods of time. Are you serious? Where are all the fish? What am I doing wrong? Oh, there's a fish. He's not interested. How do you get them interested? I'm trying to get my little things to waggle, but like, like I really don't, under I'm just guessing, you know? Like I have virtually no understanding of how fishing is supposed to operate. How did we catch one and we haven't caught anything else? Okay, let's switch it up again. Deep crank. I feel good about the deep crank. Let me crank it in here. I'm lucky that my uh, lure is not getting caught on any of these like uh, pillars or anything. No, he's not interested. It's like stuck on the ground. There we go. Oh, maybe he is interested. Oh, come on, dude. How did you get disinterested right then? Oh my God. Oh, this sucks. Oh my god, like I'm not even like spinning it correctly anymore. We lost. It's 10 a.m. Time for breakfast. The fishing tournament at 10 at the, uh, the crack of 10 a.m. The fishing tournament is over. Everyone always gets up super early to fish. I was 35th. Look, a number of people didn't even get any. They, they're at zeros. Oh my god. Listen to the music in the background. T-Wolf and Venon. Oh, hoppus. Why is everyone just a first initial? That's odd. So we came in 35th, solid 35th, with a tiny fish. Oh god, we gotta we gotta figure out how to bring our game here. This is not a good call. Oh, now it's raining. Oh, we got birds in the background. All right, let's. This is the only guy that caught us a fish last time. Okay, forget it. This spot is cursed. Let's try over here. 
Let's see what we can get. I guess the fish live under the docks or something, because, like, I'm only casting towards the docks. Alright. Uh, well, what else can we talk about while we're waiting for... Oh, are you serious, fish? It's right here, buddy. It's right here. He's not interested. Too many of their brethren have, like, fallen to, like, me. They, they understand that, like, I'm just out there ready to, like, murder them all. There's... I've killed too many. I've overfished this area, guys. We should try uh, the arcade mode again, just so we can try, like, a different region. Okay, if we don't catch any fish by noon, we're just freaking bailing on this tournament. We're just, like, not even showing up for the next round. And I have a feeling that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> so if you were to play this game these days, I would definitely say play it on the Wii. The, the Wii kind of strikes me as, like, what the Dreamcast wanted to be. The Wii is, like, a successful Dreamcast. Dreamcast has all these, like, motion-controlled games. Like, this is motion-controlled. Samba de Amiga was originally released on the Dreamcast, and it had, like, Morocco controllers. I think you could even use this controller as a Morocco in Samba de Amiga, but we didn't at the time because I didn't own it. Um, but, like, yeah, so it's, like, the Dreamcast was, like, look at the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast is, like, a white console system. All Sega systems were, like, black and badass. And then they kind of went all, like, gray and friendly and neutral and happy and tried to be family-friendly have motion controls. Like, does this not sound like the Wii, guys? Like, it totally sounds like the Wii. Um, except, obviously, the Wii was far more successful. Uh, it's funny, it's sort of like the Wii is the successful version of the Dreamcast, and the Wii U is the... Uh, I was gonna say unsuccessful version of the Dreamcast, but the Dreamcast was unsuccessful. The Wii U is basically Nintendo's Dreamcast. Actually, I remember reading an article a while ago that, like, listed all the, like, uncanny similarities between the Wii U and the Dreamcast. Like, they were both failed consoles that barely sold 10 million units. They both had... Um, displays on their controllers. So if you get a Dreamcast controller, you have like a little LCD screen on the controller if you have a memory card. And the Wii U obviously had a screen on its controller. Hey, we are not catching anything. Oh, I don't even know how to abandon this tournament if I can. Oh, what is this? Can we go to different places? Oh, we can! Oh, man! Oh, that changes everything. Why was I... Why was I just fishing around the docks when there were like four other places I could go. See, these are the kinds of things that you, that only the pro fishermen know. Um, but yeah, the, there's uncanny similarities between uh, the, the uh, Wii U and the Dreamcast. They both were not particularly well received systems and they both did not do very well. However, that's sad. I mean, Nintendo's back on top with the Switch and the Nintendo. Like, they're riding high. I mean, I don't think they're ever going to outsell the PS4, although maybe I'll eat my words one day. Uh, but I do think the Switch is doing quite well for them, and good for them. Um, I was actually legit tempted to get a Switch not too long ago, because I am interested in Mario Odyssey, but um, I also think that I'm just going to wait. Like, I, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I don't buy systems when they first come out, guys. I typically give them... Uh, at least like six months, but more often years, because I have so- Look at all the old games I have to play! I'm in no rush to play anything new. Um, are you kidding me? Every game- every good game that could possibly be made is already made. Just kidding, that's definitely not true. I, I am looking forward to, like, some new games, but, uh... I fill my time with these old ones, guys. I fill my time with these old ones and chatting with you. Can we catch a fish, please? Fish! I am right here. He's staring at me. He's thinking about it. But he's ultimately too lazy to swim two feet and get it. Okay. Can, how do we quit this? There's got to be a way. Oh, we got a fish! Never mind! I take it back! Come here, you little bastard! Okay. Oh, yeah! He's right by the boat! We got him! Smack him with the oar! Beat his brains in! We got an average size. I will, I will take anything at this point. I'm literally just trying not to get kicked out of this tournament through default. All right, so this is the only lure that seems to catch us anything. So the lures, there's strategy here. The lures, the different types of lures work differently. They attract different types of fish and like, um, you can like use them differently. I, I don't understand like how to, how to use one type of lure versus another. I'm just sort of messing around here. But obviously if you're interested in fishing, you could read up on this. You can figure it out. I'm sure you could have more success than I'm having here. I've only caught five pounds of fish. That's Barely enough to feed my starving family, but, you know, you gotta start somewhere, guys. 
So, Jaina is now a solid 36th! Oh god! Oh my god, I lost a place. I love the, like, upbeat, excited music in the background. It's like the most exciting music fishing has ever known, the sport of fishing. Is fishing broadcast on ESPN, by the way? They broadcast all kinds of things, like billiards. That's kind of interesting to watch. Bowling. They do, like, plane races now, where, like, planes race through, like, coned pillars. They do drone races, which is pretty cool. Uh, obviously, you know, world like poker and stuff like that. So, like, like I'm just trying to think, like, what, uh, let's, let's go somewhere else here. The toilet. Oh, no, the inlet. <laughs> Alright, give me the inlet. I'll give that a shot. Uh, unless that's where I just was, and we'll switch to the other one. But yeah, do they, do they broadcast fishing? I don't know. The weirdest sport that I enjoy when they broadcast is, like, those strongman competitions, where the guys are, like, lifting logs and, like, Tra you know, like so just like pulling them. like tractors and stuff like that. Oh, we're at some kind of weird dam. Like Look at this. Right. Also, it's been raining this whole time. What a bummer. What a sad bummer on like the, the rainy weather. Okay, let's just. Um, oh no. This? I've like totally gotten over the motion controls. I'm like, yeah, they were kind of fun, but. Like, th this is, I think, why the Wii. The Wii um, like, I think the Wii did very, very well, but I was never into the gimmick of the motion controls on the Wii. Because, like, honestly, I'd rather press a button than have to, like, move my arm. <laughs> okay, sound like the laziest person than ever. Hey, I'm just an, I'm an average gamer telling you guys how it is. I would rather press a button than move an arm. Like, in uh, Mario Brothers Wii, um, I never, like, had to shake the Wii mote to, like, pick up another character when you're playing multiplayer. Um, I always preferred in, like, when it was on the Wii U, you could just, like, press a button. Um, it was just like so much so much easier and so much more precise. I feel like motion controls The thing I don't like about them is like it's hard to get the timing exact like when I press this a button I know exactly when the cast is gonna go when I move my hand There's like a there's you know like at least anywhere from half second to like one second of like uncertainty Which sounds again like I'm nitpicking but I don't know man just the mentality of gamers You got to be like super precise with things like we were raised on like double dragon and Mario if your controls had had a margin of error of a half a second to a second you would die you would not make it through double dragon man like you, you would be face down in a ditch and like some bad guy would be like punching your your girlfriend in the gut forever because like you'd be dead so what this is just like garbage central look at all like what is that it looks like a lamp that was thrown out or these are like mines or something under underwater what am i looking at and why are there no fish all right um Here's my plan, guys. I'm totally bailing on this tournament. Jaina is not showing up for the next weigh-in. And we're going to go back to arcade mode, because that was the only mode in which we could actually catch fish. All right, let's go ahead and get in here. Let, let's hop into arcade one more time. Let's do Welcome one more uh, fish. Let's let's go to the cape. Get a fish in the cape. I guess, is there, like, anywhere else to go? It's just, like, three places? All right, well... Cape area. Sure. Oh, there's like a question mark place. Maybe there's like a final level. Actually, I have read that in the final level, there's only one massive fish you can catch, and he's like really hard. But I guess you have to play the game to unlock it. And let's be honest, I'm never going to be able to unlock that ma master fish. Enjoy your fishing. Enjoy your fishing. Hilarious voice acting. Like um, we'll just Select go with the, the easy boy. one. Let's just catch one more fish for the for the viewers, dude. Whoever you are, fisherman. Come on, you know you want it. You know you, they're all just looking at me. Somebody told them not to eat my, my bait, I'm telling you guys. Anyway, Sega Bass Fishing, guys. This is our first game of the new year, by the way. So we are back on track with our thousand games to play before you die. But I, I swear we will be playing some like objectively good games. Not to say that this yeah, could not be considered a good game by people, but I think most people would consider this kind of like a niche game. Like, if you're interested in fishing, good for you. You probably enjoy this. But for most people, I feel like this game is not really going to hold too much appeal. Like, in, in in the sense of, like, you know, is this a game that I think you must play before you die? Absolutely not. It's not necessary. Like, it's interesting um, in that it has this really neat... I, I'm really, I really like the controller. It's, it's really cool. It's a neat idea. Um, it's a motion control controller ahead of motion control, so before the Wii... Um, definitely, if you are a fan of fishing, I could see this game being, like, a really unique experience. And it does, you know, like, fishing is inherently a boring sport where you kind of just have to wait around for long periods of time. I mean, even people who fish will admit that. There's a lot of waiting. In the arcade game here, it's like you can sort of practice around with different lures and have some slightly more exciting battles with fish. And you don't have to wait for hours and hours. 
Um, you might just have to wait. Oh god. Can someone- can some fish bite this? I'm trying to talk about how you don't have to wait for hours for a fish to bite and literally no fish are biting. So, I mean, I guess you do have to wait for some amount of time. Um, well, yeah, if you're interested in fishing, I could see this being in interesting to you. It, however, is not intriguing me. Um, like, there are definitely things that I thought I didn't like, like golf, and then I'd play a game that would change my mind, like Mario Golf on the Game Boy. Um, this is not a case of my mind being changed. Fishing holds still holds little interest to me. It's just not my kind of thing, and so I don't think that this game by itself is, you know, so engrossing or unique or well done that even people who don't like fish should play it. So I I understand it's in the book mostly because of uniqueness. Let's break our line. Ah, oh, didn't get a chance. Man, they really want you to continue in this game. They really try and amp it up to uh, 11. Come on, I want to break my, my thing. I'm ready to fight. Do it. I initiate. All right, let's, here we go. We're going to break. Oh. We, we specifically didn't get to break the line. We're breaking this line, I tell you. But anyway, long story short, I don't think this is a game you must play before you die. That's my opinion, guys. What do you guys think of my assessment of Sega Bass Fishing here? Do you agree that you think, yeah, it's kind of an interesting game, but basically for a niche audience? Or do you disagree and think, actually, like, if most people gave it a shot, they would absolutely love it in the same way that perhaps you do? Um, whatever your opinion of this game, let me know in the comments down below. And even though we may look at this game and say this is not a game we, that any of us might recommend to someone, um... I hope you guys have enjoyed checking it out with me. Because again, this 1001 Quest is not always about playing the absolute best games out there, but it's about playing the games that sort of, you know, broadly make up the gaming genre. And, you know, that doesn't mean playing every game that was absolutely the best. It means playing games that sort of filled out niche areas too. Games that were unique and did things that no other games had done. Games that were very new on the, the Dreamcast and helped define the system when it first came out. So. Yeah, I may not like fishing games, but I I have fun checking them out. Um, I am probably at some point going to check out a Cabela's Big Game Hunter, even though like I feel like that is not really my kind of game. I'm still interested to play it and see it because I know it is a game. A lot of people enjoy it, and it does help define what video games are in the broadest sense. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I cannot seem to land a final fish here. Uh, but that's my own problem, not yours. Oh wait, speak! Oh come on! His mouth was open! He stopped swimming at the last second! What a tease! Come on, buddy! Eat it! Eat it! You know you want to! Why do you keep coming here if you don't want to fish? Oh my god! Fish are the most frustrating animal in existence! Until next time, guys, I'm Gaming Jay. It's been fun. You all take care of yourself. And peace. Son of a bitch, where'd you go? You're eating this lure whether you want to or not. You're gonna jam it in your gullet. Somebody eat it! Thank you! All right, here goes the lure. We are breaking the line. We're reeling them in like a mad dog. And the line's gonna break. I don't care. I don't care about the tension. It's not breaking. Oh, the, the controller's squeaking like crazy. The line, it didn't break. What the hell? The line is a lie. Oh, big one. Hey, but we got a big one. All right, well, there you go. Damn, I got like a 10 pound, nine pound fish. Cha-ching! I'm kinda sad I didn't break the line though. Just wanted to see my guy fail. Oh well.